and welcome guys back to my channel Escape Art by Sky and today I'll be doing another video for you on how to uh, paint with acrylics and today I will be painting a sunset sky for you with a little lake and uh, of course this is a uh, my little standard 18 by 24 uh, canvas here so uh, let's get going I already have my paints laid out I'm ready I know you're ready so let's get to it I'm just going to give me some, uh, I got some, uh, some nice sunset color paint laying it out and I'm just going to go ahead and wet this canvas down a little. So that just, so the paint will go on a little smoother. And let's see here, just pick a spot and right about here and put in your yellow. That one eye pretty good for me right there, and I want to go right back into some yellow ochre. Did not clean my brush, just keep going with it. And the uh, most important, in my opinion, uh, the most important thing when you're doing uh, uh, is your sunsets, is you need to blend your sunsets in. Meaning that you don't want, uh, you don't know what, when one color ends and the other color uh, begins. So blend that yellow and yellow oak right in with one another. And that'll be it for that. Going into some red now. Coming right up in here, put a nice little red. And I need to wet that down just a little. It was not going on good enough for me. And again, blend that right down into your yellow that you have here. And be careful of your red because that will eat up your yellow because the red is more stronger uh, than yellow. It will just cover it all up. Just a little bit more right in here. Yeah. And it's a little hot in my building today, so i got to keep wetting that. Now I want to go into some uh, Lizzie with Crimson. And I'm coming right above that. And it's okay. Now I'll let some little areas in here, little white areas, places where I don't have no paint. That's okay. You don't need to cover it all up. And that's as far as I'm going to go with that. Now, I want to come in here. I want to mix me up some paint and I'll be right back. You know, I'm going to mix me up some what I did when I mixed this. Mix up me up some blue and some purple. And I'll come right up here with that. And I have not yet cleaned my brush off. And I'm just going to go ahead into this mixture. right up in here and do this little motion right here and let's wet that again And I'm just doing some rocking motion with my brush. Come all the way down into your red.
I'm working on that. I'll be right back. I right, came back and I just finished that up here. And I can see where I got some white right here. And I think that would look kind of nice for some white clouds. So let's go ahead and do that. Not too much. Not too much white. And just come right up in here. And all you do is tap. Some of the easiest clouds that right there I'm doing. It is, it is so effective. So effective. And let's come right up in here. And you want to get depth uh, into your sky. Uh, when you're coming out here and you're coming down here into the middle, make it very, you know, lighter, smaller. Make it, you know, up here big, bolder. And as you thin it out, I guess is the word, I don't know. And that's it. And I think that's all I'm going to do for that sky. And how that I put a sky in, how many, just very few minutes. And that's the way I paint, guys. I don't know if it's the right way for you or not. It is for me. I just don't, I don't like to take a whole lot of time on painting just one thing. I just, I get it, I get it in my mind the way I want it to look like, and I paint it. I just can't spend, see spending two, three days on just painting the sky. I just can't do that. So it's, it's good for some people, not for me. All right. All right, uh, one more thing I'd like to add, and I'll continue on with this, is that when you're doing the sunset and you have yellow, Make sure, if you got blue, make sure it does not touch that yellow because it will turn green. And you don't want a green sky in your sunset, okay? So that's why I put that red here and that crimson right through here. It's kind of a barrier from that to this. So maybe you, you want to keep that as an, uh, you know, a thought in your mind when you're doing your sunset. Now, I think what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to put in as a sunset. So what, let's go ahead and put in some sun. Uh, sun. So uh, I think I'm going to go right here. And you just get your white paint. I like to do my sun uh, where I put in the glow of the sun first. Then I come back and put the sun. So you get some paint here. And just go around. A little too much. Got some of that off. Just get a nice little uh, a glow about it. Very soft. Nice little glow. And just work it out. be good enough for a, a glow and come back with another brush many ways of doing uh, these little suns another way if I would have thought about it I would have done it but I didn't think about it is to get you a little round sticker and put it wherever you want your sun at put it there paint all this in and then come back and peel that sticker off you'll have a complete round circle but uh, I did it. I'm going to do it this way. Got some paint on your brush. Go directly in right to the center. And you just touch it and then turn it. And then pull it right back out. Boom. You got your sun. 
And that would be pretty good for me that time. Sometimes when you're painting, sometimes it'll work out. Sometimes at night you have to work at it a little. But uh, this time it turned out pretty good. And I'm going to leave that one alone. Now you got the sun here that you just put in. And you know that sun is going to reflect all of them here in these clouds. So let's go ahead and reflect some of that. So it just gets some white. Maybe a little yellow. Let's reflect some of that. That sun right up here into these clouds. And try not to, uh, try not to. Just don't do it, put it your brush here and do a straight line. Kind of break it up a little bit. You know, just skip along, I guess. And of course, it would be one that's closer to the sun it will be darker of course or brighter however you want to say it and always step back and take a look see at what you're doing and that will pay dividends at the end all right i think what i'm going to do now i'm going to put some clouds down here it looks like it, it needs a few little clouds down here and i'm going to paint some red clouds same way you do any other cloud it just that for this reason it's just red. I wanna mix a little yellow ochre in there. Alright, just come up here and just uh, put your little cloud in. Hopefully it won't mess it up. Just keep going around and around. Put some over here too. And some right down here. And then we're going to come back and we're going to highlight that with the white. Alright, I just came in and put some red clouds through here and I just highlight them just like I did up here. No big deal. Now I'm going to put in some trees here. And the thing about trees is that when you're doing your sunset, keep them kind of on the dark side. I don't want to really highlight because you, once you put your dark in against this light color, it really brings it out. I'll just go ahead and show you. It's a lot easier for me to show you than to tell you. So you just come in here with your brush here. You keep in mind though, this is a long ways away still. So not too much detail at all. And just come wherever you want to. And just put in a tree. way you do it and I used a mixture of some uh, blue and some black and that's what I mix this mixture is and just keep going and I'm going to go ahead and cut the uh, cut the camera off because you don't need to see me going all the way across here but you got the point. Uh, dark trees against this, back, this light background. It really pops it out. You'll see. Alright, I didn't put in my trees here. And now you can tell that, uh, see all my trees, they're all different heights. And that's what you want. You don't want your trees, the top of the trees to come right across at the same height. It won't look right. So that's very important. Uh, just to 
they'll have them at that same height. And as you're putting in your trees, you're putting in your trees, and you'll get to a point where you're running out of paint a little bit. Don't reload that quick. Go ahead and keep painting. Because as you can see, I got a little few trees in here that are they'll have very little paint on them in here and then you reload and you come back right in front of it don't cover it up what it basically what it looks like is trees in the background you have your dark trees and then you have your lighter trees so as you're painting you're naturally going to run out of paint right so and just don't reload keep painting just a little a few trees and then come back with your dark color okay you got that all right all right let's go ahead and i want to put in some grass here Let's see. I want to start putting it in my grass here. And again, this is way far away, so you don't need any dark color here. And then your highlight with your grass. Don't put no dark color in, just paint it in with some uh, green paint here. And what I did was I mixed up some uh, Prussian blue and some green. Just delete. Just keep a little dark here because uh, it is sunset. So normally it's a little dark. I mean, of course, it's going to be darker than a bright, uh, sunny day, right? <laughs> That's working pretty good. I think I'm gonna stop right here. And I'll be right back. Alright, now I think I'm gonna put some trees right right, right here at the middle ground. And I'm gonna put some trees here. Uh, and just a few trees. You don't wanna cover up all what you've done here. So uh, be careful of that. Now it's going to give me some green, some black, maybe even a touch of blue. And come up here, let's make some trees. Let's put one right here. Again, leaving these kind of dark. I think that's all I'm going to do for that. Alright, I got the old grass in. I'm going to come back here and let's put in some water. And what I, all I did was I mixed up some uh, blue and some green for the water here. Let's put that a little bit, a little dry. straight down with it. Here's, you'll see many different ways of doing this water. This is the way I do it. I'm just going to go all the way across here and I'll be right back. Alright, I got my water in here now. Very easy to do. Put your paint in, whatever color you want. For this right here, what I used was some blue and green. A little mixture put it in here and I made long strokes to uh, paint it all in it's almost dry so um, now what I'm gonna do I like to uh, reflect 
or attempt to reflect some of the sky uh, into this water and I will start with this horizon line here with this yellow and I'll put some uh, uh, yellow here and, and hopefully it will uh, all work out. Let's see, I'm going to try this brush here. And just give me some yellow. Come right down here. And put some yellow in. Just reflect that sky right into the water. Come right back with some yellow ochre. Right in here. Something like that. And then let's come back in here with some red. Just like that up there. And some crimson. Right down here somewhere. Nice. And some of this up here. So I'm going to look a little purple up here. Bottom. Now we'll lighten that up some with some white. Not too much uh, of your white paint. Right here is your moon. You come right down here. This will be the lightest or the brightest of your water here. Hey, that will help. I'm still getting used to this acrylic stuff. The old paint, you don't have nothing to worry about. This thing slides down real good. Not too much of this white. Just to put some of that color into the water. You don't have to do this. You don't have to put no color in the water if you don't want it. Of course. This is your painting. And uh, you do it the way you want to. put my water in here. Now I like to reflect some of this uh, moon right directly into my water. And many ways you can do that. You can do that with a, a fan brush or uh, however you want to do it. And just come right up here and just put it in. As you work closer to you as you're working down, make these strokes get bigger and bigger. And that will give that illusion of distance in your painting. step back and look see how that looks and when you do it it'll, it'll look just like it you're going back into that painting if you do it right you know small here 
and bigger and bigger as you get down. And that's where you do, uh, you know, rivers. You want rivers to go off in the distance, a path, or anything like this. You want it at, at a distance that's small up here. And as you're working your way down to the bottom of the canvas, make it just get bigger and bigger. And it'll look like uh, it's going off into the distance. All right. light in here now and I'm gonna wait for this uh, water to dry here and uh, you see what I said there water to dry <laughs> yeah but it's still a little tacky I'm gonna put some water lines in here and all but I'm gonna wait for that to dry so just give me a moment to talk with you just a little bit here where uh, if you can uh, you know s subscribe to my channel uh, and uh, you know and share it uh, you know, give me, uh, help me out here with the views. I guess that's important to YouTube. I don't know. Uh, so, uh, but I don't know. I've done about, I don't know, nine, eight uh, videos or something like this. And uh, all together, you know, I might have 70 views all together. Add them up. And I got five subscribers. So I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. What I'm doing is really uh, making a difference in your world and your art. But if I'm changing, if I'm helping out just one person, you know, uh, to me that's good. So, and if uh, send me some messages uh, if you can, and let me know what I'm doing wrong, right? Give me your opinion, you know. Uh, so, but anyway, and it's a little, it's almost ready. I would like to bring up a, a thing I brought up in another video I did uh, when I was talking about the doggone mosquitoes. I got a bug light in my front yard and, and I plug it up to an extension cord and it has a little a fan and it has a little trap at the bottom and the bugs fly in there and they fall down into the trap and see I got a blue light, there's a blue light and of course you really see it at night. And I don't know what it is about those blue lights, you know, you know, um, bugs flying around, they see that blue light, they just stand there and look. Blue light, blue light. <laughs> and they go in there and they get sucked down into that holding area, in that screened in area you know, where they sit there and they die very slowly. <laughs> no, no, no. Sometimes, well, yeah, sometimes I lose myself. Just sometimes, just all the time. So, you know, so uh, yeah, and this still a little wet. I'm going to come back here and get the paint in here, and uh, this is a little funny. There, and uh, put in some bushes. I think that we need some bushes up here. So I'm going to come in here, get some bushes. And come right here. Bushes in something like that, and that's all. I'm just using a corner tip of that brush. I don't know if you can see that, just the very tip of that, and that's all I'm using. And I think I'm gonna try to. How about this right here? How about if we just go over? that. See it shows a little green right there. And that helps. Now that helps uh, you know if you're out there trying to make a dollar at these arts and craft shows uh, that could help sell. Just how many bushes you want. Again this is your painting. You're doing this. You put in you might not want no bushes in your painting. Fine. Ain't gonna hurt my feelings, no. I just thought it really needed something. Alright, 
went ahead and did all the way across my bushes. I just reflected them into the water. All you do is put on uh, some paint and just paint right up under the bush. You know, and then you come down with your brush and go across just like you would do your water. And uh, that's all there is to that. Now let's make some water lines. My water should be dry enough. <laughs> let's come right up in here. And the, uh, the key about the water line mainly is to keep them straight. Don't go up like this when you're doing the water lines. Try to keep them as straight as possible. you reflect these uh, bushes into the water but still you can go right over that it, it makes it look like water see I'm going right over that bush I just did Just make water movements with your brush. And I think I'm gonna call that and finish, guys. I I might come back later and, and touch it up here and there. Maybe I'll add a few rocks. But you got the majority of it. I just wanted to show you how to do a very nice uh, uh, sunset lake type thing. Okay, and uh, how you know, quick, you know, you could do this. And, uh, and it's still, you know, it's a very nice painting. And going back to the, the beginning of the video, when you're doing your sunset, uh, to make sure you blend these colors in. Don't, you don't want a solid line. Where like you know where the red is at and the yellow, don't do a solid yet line. Blend it out and uh, and make sure your blue don't touch the yellow because you'll get some uh, you know green color in it. And uh, and your trees back here. And I hope this video will help you out. And uh, until uh, until next guy next time, guys. Uh, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you later.